Hi, I'm Keith Melton. Today, I'm going to reveal the secrets of why cane masters canes are the canes against which other canes are measured. We take enormous pride and put passion into the production of the very best canes we can possibly make. But it doesn't start in our shop. Hickory is the hardest and strongest hardwood available to us in the U.S. to make canes. It's extremely durable. Oak is a close second and can be made to last a lifetime. We do not produce canes that are disposable. All of our canes are intended to last for your lifetime and pass it down to your children or grandchildren. The crafting process of a cane begins in the mill. All wood is dried before it's milled to prevent rot. The cane is shaped. It is ultimately steam bent in a 180 degree bend. This is a raw cane as it leaves the mill. We are very precise that the mouth of the cane is between four and a quarter and four and a half inches. This is necessary for your ability to maneuver and control the cane. Once we have machined it, we've crafted the horn that you would like, we've made any adjustments for grips, or we've added shark teeth or a rumble strip, it is sanded six times in preparation for the oiling. In our tests, immersing a cane in a tank of mineral oils and some special polymers will extend the life of your cane and have a noticeable difference in the strength and durability of the wood. We dye the wood. The dye penetrates the surface of the wood. Then if we're adding additional color, we'll lay a stain on the top of the wood. The cane must be sanded between the dyeing stage and after each application of the stain. When we want to protect a piece of wood, the good oils that we have put into the cane have to stay there. And without a finish, they'll eventually just dissipate from the cane. And also, the oil from your hand or dirt will penetrate the grain. Nature's best sealer is called tongue oil. It's been used by the Chinese for thousands of years. We hand rub tin coats of tongue oil onto your cane. We begin sanding it at about the third coat. We start with 1500 grit wet dry paper and over the succession of coats we'll move up to 3000 grit. By about the seventh coat the surface of your cane turns almost to glass. We'll put three more coats on it to make it extremely smooth. At the final inspection. If it meets our standards, it'll go to be engraved. After the engraving, we'll add one additional coat of tongue oil. This is not a fast process. The average time for us to craft and finish a cane is about 15 days. And of that time, either nine or 10 days of that is just in the process of the sanding, the staining, and the final finishing. But it produces a beautiful cane that you can carry with you every day. Some of our customers tell us they consider them works of art. We're very proud of them. We would love to craft a custom cane for you. Please reach out to us at Cane Masters or give us a call.